Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 52? 52. It's going to be like that the rest of the episodes that I, that I record tonight. Um, I, I know I've mentioned it once or twice before, and I can't remember, I, I can't remember f when I have and haven't said it. So just so I can make sure that it's been said again. Fridays, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, I live stream the recording in the next six episodes that go up on YouTube. So... If you want to watch live and participate in the chat, then uh, the the links in the description below. Uh, and if you're watching on the live stream and you miss part of it, or you get a cut out early, or whatever, then uh, go to the YouTube channel and you can catch what you missed. And there's links and the stuff below. All right, all that said and done, we went back to the ship with the intent of building some of the poison immunity stuff. And it ended up that instead that, that we ended we ended up having our confrontation with visas that uh, we weren't expecting to have just yet. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go run around and have some conversations with various people in the crew. Um, I, I recall a couple of bits that I did some research on, but not the entire thing. So this is not going to be the thorough conversational walkthrough for a particular game type. This, this is going to be me winging it. Uh, so let's start with Visas herself. My life for yours. Your life for yours, huh? All right. All right. How did you find me? Who sent you? I wanted to teach you some of the techniques I have learned in my travels. I have questions. All right, we're trying to play light side, so let's start off with, are you all right? I am able to serve. If we enter battle, I will fight and die alongside you. That... Oh, that is an option. That's not what I asked. I have not heard that question in some time. My flesh is healed, if that's the answer you seek. Um, I didn't mean to hurt you. I know. And I fear that others will see the mercy in your actions and in my survival and use it as a weapon to do you greater harm. And how did you find me? Felt you. Heard you through the force. Hmm. It was like a sound at the edge of hearing. And when I heard it, I found I could not ignore it. And who sent I you? I serve my master. I am an emissary, a scout. My master was aware of a disturbance hmm. in the force, but was unaware of its nature, of you. The disturbance is not something one feels from a living thing. There is little my um. master does not know. And that you eluded his sight for so long is significant. But I do not know why. Oh. Probably because they cut me off from the force when they exiled me. And therefore, when he went hunting Jedi. Alright, so I need to know where I can find your master. How did you find me? I have questions for you. Let's start with... How did you find me? Oh. Uh, who sent I you? My, my master was a... There is little my master does... Okay. Uh, I need to know where I can find your master. Cannot. His vessel roams the borders of known space, and even I do not know where he travels. Hmm. Until he calls for me. Even if I could lead you to my master, I cannot permit you to find him until you are ready. Uh, ready? If I bring you before my master, untested, without your potential realized, then you will be lost to me. And I cannot allow that to happen. Really? It would be as if one brought fire to a paradise valley, shattered a cavern hmm. of rare crystal, or blinded a painter. Uh, never mind. I had questions. How did you find me? I order you to take me to him. I'll decide when I'm ready. Um... No, we're, we're, we're doing the light side, noble Jedi thing, so my life is unimportant. Your master threatens more than just me. I cannot. I will not. I would die first and gladly to preserve you untouched. 
unharmed. Is that why you attacked me with the lightsaber? I cannot sacrifice what I have found. Um. All right. So the only two real questions. I mean, I got five options here, but really it's I need to find him and kill him before he's a threat to my power. Dark side. Uh, if he's behind what has befallen the Jedi, then he must be stopped. And that I seems the better one. Because that's the way the game's written. You're not bad, you're just drawn that way. And realize what you face. You must be prepared. Until then, I must protect you, help you, until you are ready. All right. Oh, there's a good question. Why are you doing this for me? A, a greatness in you. A greatness that does not stem from the Force. It stems, stems from who you are written to be. Oh, wait, no. From who you are. And if my master does not understand you, cannot see you, then perhaps there is hope for us all. But if you seek to survive then you must understand why this is so. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that is a good question. If your master has trouble detecting me, how are you able to do it? There is much I see my master cannot. I fear it is because of my nature, the nature of my race. My people spend mm. their lives seeing the galaxy, the energy streaming off stars, the growth of life, all things touched by the Force. Uh, where are your people it now? It is not a subject which I have spoken of since its destruction. Oh. Uh, how is it destroyed? The planet was not destroyed. It remains. It orbits. Dead in space. But nothing lives on its surface. It echoes. But there's no one left to hear it. Um... All right, do I want to bring up Malachor, or... Now, let's keep down the same line. If your homeworld was destroyed, how did you survive? I am not certain I did. Huh. I was there when the planet died. To see everything around you extinguished. It was as if I was blinded. It was as if the Force had been bled from the world. Ow. Uh, as if so everything suddenly went silent? Yeah, let's go with that. I imagine there are worse deaths, worse pain. But if there are, I do not know them. I was the only hmm. living thing remaining on the planet of Qatar. Oh. And my life, my agony, was a flicker in the darkness that was the planet. All that I had been connected to had been severed. I think I know that one. Uh, you were the only survivor? Yes, but it was not survival. I still wonder what would have happened if I had died with the others. If perhaps there would have been some way to hide my presence from the galaxy. Hmm. If only I had not felt that pain, that loss, as strongly as I did. But it could not be done. When the life was bled from the planet, and yet somehow I remained, my master came for me. He walked upon the surface of my dead world, and there, lying uh, in the bodies of my race... Why do we get the feeling we're about to get the subject of scars? And he made me see. And for the first time, I saw the galaxy. And I wished to die. Um, he made you see? To this galaxy, my world absent the currents and spectrums of the force it was nothing but crude matter rock flesh emptiness he showed the flickering of life on other planets the mass of beings that swarm through the empty places of the galaxy to see such creatures disconnected from themselves mm -hmm. their world their place in it unable to see the currents and how they affected everything around them and hmm, that is a good question. Why did your master show you this? He showed me to make me believe in his cause. He convinced hmm. me the galaxy, all life, must die. Um. He fed upon its ugliness, its screaming, and in its place, 
he left silence. Is he going to do this and with the snap? Chaos, oh, wrong franchise. And order. Ultimately owned by the same company, though. <laughs> are you perfectly balanced, as all good things are? All right. Uh, I don't understand. It would have taken several Royal Public Cruisers to destroy the surface of Qatar. How did your master destroy your homeworld? To kill on such a scale, it's impossible. Why did your master destroy Qatar? Um, let's go with the second one. Let's go with how did your master destroy your homeworld? It was not a thing done with machines or weapons. The force is far more terrible, and it oh. touches more lives than any machine can hope to slay. For everyone that feels the force, strongly, deeply, each one feels and perceives it in their own way. You have strengths, whether you know it or not. And my master has his. His power is great, and it comes from hunger. Oh, he is a wound okay. in the force, more presence than flesh. And in his wake, life dies, sacrificing itself to his hunger. And those who feel the Force strongly are beacons to his hunger. My people, my planet, would have been attacked in time. It was inevitable. Yet we could do nothing about it. Uh, all right. The only question I have left is, why did your master destroy Qatar? The Jedi. The last council of the Jedi came to our world oh. to meet in secret. They hoped that perhaps among our people they could achieve the clarity to see what was striking them from the darkness of the galaxy. They succeeded, but only in bringing him from the outer regions. And Qatar, with my kind, with the Jedi upon its surface, could no longer be ignored. And my people died. Oh, okay then. And the Jedi died. And there was no one left. Only me. Alright, um... Why did the Jedi meet on Qatar, or he attacked it because the Jedi had gone there? Let's go with the first one. They hoped to see the threat that had been stalking them. And they did. But they were unprepared for the Apparently. magnitude of the threat. Alright, so I get to ask my other question. He attacked because the Jedi had gone there? He cannot deny his hunger for long. And any gathering of Jedi is something he cannot long resist. Hmm. And now that the Jedi are vanishing, I do not know what will happen. Perhaps he will grow strong enough to eradicate all life, merely with his presence. Alright, um... So the only other question I have is why did the Jedi meet on Qatar, which I've already asked. So let's see it, what I had some other questions for I you brings up. I can, but my answers may prove useless to you. Uh, okay. All right. Tell me about your home world, Usul. Oh wait, no, wrong franchise. Um, was your master the one sent to Paragus? Was your master behind the destruction of Paragus? Let's go with, was your master the one sent to Paragus? I'm not familiar with the place you speak of. My master has not entered Republic space for some time, but there are others who may move more freely, who may have been responsible for such an act of destruction. Okay. What do you mean? There are many factions within the Sith, all seeking to take what uh... remains in the wake of the Jedi Civil War. Where one moves, it is not always known to the others. But their purpose is the same. The death of all Jedi everywhere. They believe you are the last of the Jedi, and their hatred of the Jedi unites them. If only All they knew. All their eyes are upon you, and it is a terrible, quiet darkness that pursues you. Alright, I got some other questions I then. I will answer what I can. Um... Was your master behind the destruction of Paragus? My master did not cause the end of the planet you speak of. There are many factions within the Sith, all seeking to take what little remains in the wake of the Jedi okay. Civil War. Where one moves, it is not always known to the others. But their purpose is the same. The death of all Jedi. Everywhere. They believe you are the last of the okay. Jedi. And their hatred of the and Jedi... And now we're starting to tread the same, same ground again. You, and it is a terrible, 
quiet. I'm darkness. about to be pursued by the ti you. terrible quiet darkness. All right, I got some other questions. I'll answer what I can. Uh, tell me about your home world. It is not a subject which I have spoken of since its destruction. Oh, okay. Um, that brings us back to all the questions we had before. So let's try the one I didn't get a chance to do. I've seen similar acts of destruction at Malachor. I've tales of Malachor. It is said that many of my people felt the end of the Mandalorian Wars from across the oh. galaxy. But do not mistake me. I did not mean to draw comparisons between Qatar and Malachor. My homeworld still exists. <laughs> it is intact. Alright, I got some other questions then. I will answer what I can. Because I didn't intend to go there. Uh, let's ask about the blind thing. My people once had the power to perceive events. To see through the Force. That sight okay. may manifest itself in many ways. And at times... I may affect the abilities of others to see as well. Uh, you sound as if that sight is lost to you. My sight has been damaged. What I have taught you, it is not the full extent of the perceptions of my people. Vizas has a limited ability to see the Force. She has foresight in first-person mode and can also use it as a Force power by spending Force points. Okay. My master, when he showed me my world, showed it to me as it is. It hurt. And since that moment, it has been difficult to perceive the Force as I once did. But after traveling oh. with you, I feel that perhaps there was a gift in it, hidden beneath the pain. Alright. Uh, there is no gift in pain except the gift of strength? Or when one endures, gives hope to others and themselves. Let's try the more uplifting one. Only when one suffers do certain truths become evident. Both of the galaxy and of the self. And I feel you are an example of this. Oh, really? Um. What other questions do I have? I will answer what I can. Homeworld, Paragus, Forest. All right, never mind. We're done Forgive now. Forgive me, but before you go, I must ask. Why do you do this? Why do you seek to help me? Teach me? Uh, because I believe you can be saved. I don't really know why. I try not to think about it. <laughs> why? It's only that a weak servant is no use at all. No, 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 no. Let's go with the first one. Because I believe you can be you saved. Must not do this. I cannot allow you to weaken yourself for me. Uh... <laughs> I do not understand where your power over the dark side comes from. You're too even-tempered and submissive for my tastes. No. Uh, you have a curious view for a Sith? No. To help others is not weakness. It's strength to them both. So you say. But it is not something I have observed or seen. What do you mean? I remember little of my homework before I entered my master's service. I do not mean not to spend 20 minutes on this. There is little left of such memories. Or the planet itself. Alright, we've spoken enough. I must go. Very well. Perhaps we shall speak more of this at another time. But know this. I cannot allow you to weaken yourself for me. Alright, I gained some influence and some light side points. Um... And she has absolutely nothing equipped. Hmm. All right, I'll have to do something about that. Really, all she's got uh, is regular clothing. Least I can. Oh, and uh, dark Jedi robe or Jedi Knight robe. Let's give her the dark Jedi Knight robe. That way she's at least got some armor. And I'll have to deal with the rest later. Ooh, but I can level her up because she's starting off as a Sentinel level 6. Let's, uh... Alright. I can't, uh... Alright, I'll have to do that later then. 
All right, we'll come back to that in a minute. Let's first... Do I want to talk to him next? No, let me talk to Korea next. Because I have a funny feeling that's going to be... That's going to be interesting. All right, Korea. What do you have to say? Um... I don't understand how she tracked us down. How do you think she found us? Why do you call her a Sia? You mean the blind Sith? No, let's go with the second one. Her species does not see as we do. They perceive the galaxy through the Force, and it is how she found you. It is a rare gift squandered on her people. Squander. The Sith carry the battle to you, and you spare them. And as we travel... The empty places of this ship are filled. Well, yeah, that is I the idea. Your thoughts in this matter are clear. In saving her, you may destroy yourself. Nah. Do not mate with her. Whatever you may <laughs> feel, whatever urges consume you, do not let them control you. Such a union would breed difficulties. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I didn't realize that was the option. I can go with that's none of her business or... Uh, just because I saved her doesn't mean I was going to charge up her loading ramp. <laughs> Alright, was not expecting that. That isn't part of the Jedi code. Uh, I think we're done talking about this. Hmm. Let's stick with the code. That seems safer. We shall see. I trust your exile has taught you restraint and discipline in the ways of the flesh. Like hmm. the servant of Atris, this one has other masters. Though blind, she has... Yeah, everybody to does. Her you too, probably. A threat to us. To you. Do not underestimate her or her loyalty. All right. Um... Actually, if there's anyone I don't trust, it's you. Trust me, all I wanted was her lightsaber. I think I can help her. She doesn't seem evil. If she can see through the Force, maybe she can help us find the lost Jedi, find allies, uh, ties to her master perhaps, and I intend to follow that bond to its source with the opportunity presents itself. Now, let's go with um, let's go with the least bad of those options, and if she can see through the Force, maybe she can help us find the lost Jedi. Perhaps. I am not convinced. Okay. Uh, Atten said her planet was wiped out, that it was the only colony of her people in this sector of the galaxy. Her entire planet was destroyed. Do you know why her homeworld was destroyed? Let's go with do you know why. Because it was its time. Perhaps you should ask her. It begs many questions. Her mm -hmm. people are not prone to violence, war, or hatred, yet their planet is obliterated, scoured from the face of the galaxy, and all that remains is a Sith. Yeah, I'm not sure yet. It means we got problems. It seems strange a Force-sensitive world was obliterated. You are right to trust your instincts. Something is wrong. It is only a matter of discovering what and why. If your instincts lead you to an answer, seek me out. Perhaps we will discuss more. All right, I had other questions. Ask, and I will answer. Uh... When Vizas attacked, she did something to my eyesight. She did nothing to your eyes that was not already there. She has forced this upon you, but such crude methods are the markings of the Sith. Close your eyes. All right. Feel this ship around you. Listen to my words. Hear the sound of the handmaidens training in the cargo hold. Her hands cutting the air. The welding hmm. of the droid as it goes about its work. Uh, hey, T3 has a stuck motivator. Now, Shh. stretch out. Hear the rumble of hyperspace, the hum of the hyperdrive. <laughs> hey, I can hear it catching it. Ignore distractions and focus on my voice. Breathing of the blinded one as she meditates in the dark. Now, listen deeper past her breathing. If you and build it, they will come. Oh, wait, no, wrong whispering. From the ashes of Qatar. 
I shall not fear. For Where is the mind killer? The little death? Oh wait, wrong franchise. Uh, I heard her thoughts. You are strong indeed. What you heard were surface thoughts only, but it is something that masters have trained for for years and never learned. Um, was I always able to do that? That is not the real question you should ask. Is such listening enough to perceive the world around you? It is not. No, oh, that's fair. Because to listen to the thoughts of another is much like attempting to see the universe only with your eyes. It is equally limiting. Now leave me be. Hmm. I must rest. I gained plus one awareness and recovered some of my connection with the Force. And gained some influence with Korea. Nice. Alrighty then. Um... I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought... It, I thought I was supposed to... Catch something with Atten. Or is it because my level isn't high enough? Let's do that. Let me level up. Because I need to get to level 15 to, uh, to... Before I can prestige. Or the earliest opportunity of prestige is at level 15. So let me do that. And then in the next episode, I'll try to chat up the rest of the crew. I wasn't expecting to take quite so much. Um, let's, uh, all right, so skills, well, you, you know how this is going to go. We're keeping computer use maxed out. We're keeping persuade maxed out and security maxed out and treat injury maxed out because that's apparently a very useful crafting skill. And then we'll bump awareness up one more, even though I, I'd rather, I'd rather put it in demolitions or repair, but I can't, I can't spend the feet right now. So let's go. Okay. Let's go feats. I've maxed out two weapon fighting. I've maxed out master flurry. Um, as much as I, I gearhead's not going to help me much. Uh, let's see. What what are some of my other options here? I could do precise shot, but I'm not. That's all range damage stuff, and I'm not doing that. Stealth run. That'd be nice, but I'm not doing anything with stealth. Regenerate vitality points. That could be nice. Uh, mobility gets me 10% faster movement. Man, I don't want to waste the feet, but it sure makes all the running back and forth a lot easier. I'm not doing any of the finesse stuff. Dual strike is nice, but... I'll hold off on that unless there's nothing else. All right, repair is nice and demolitions is nice. But I'm a little far behind to be dumping points into those just yet. Uh, regenerate force points would be really good. Close combat, nice as that is. No dueling, definitely not. Uh, toughness, that might be a better one. That's an extra point every time I level up. Uh, ooh, advanced Jedi defense, and because I'm not doing weapons focus melee. Matter of fact, I'm not doing any other weapons focuses. So really, it's either going to be improved power attack or Jedi defense. Uh, Jedi defense helps with blaster deflection rolls. Uh, let me do the power attack first. Let's do the improved power attack, so that way if I need a, I need a good solid hit, I can do that. All right. Powers, and I got Force Channel for free. And I got one more, one more power to choose from. Um, all right, Destroy Droid is an option. I'd love to do Force Wave. But I can't do that until level 15. I could do destroy droid or dominate mind. Uh, dominate mind is tempting because it, it looks like there are more uses than just some dark side uses. But I think I'm going to stick. Hmm. 
I wouldn't mind having some more offensive options for uh, combat too, though. Uh, mind trick doesn't really help. Force scream is a dark side power, so the the force point cost is going to make that ridiculous. Uh, drain force is going to be the same. Throw saber is an option, but not a really good one. Uh, force suppression is an option, but we're not going to run into that many Sith, it seems. Drain life, uh, no, dark side power. Same with shock, fear, slow, wound. Uh, force deflection is kind of nice, but no. Revitalize. Revitalize is one that I probably ought to pick up at some point really soon. If we're being honest, force body, no, 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 no. Maybe if I was a knight. All right, you know what? Let's um, let's go ahead and take the destroy droid. That's probably going to be the most useful near term. And accept. Okay, it won't let me level anybody else up. So before I run around having other conversations, and I may start with Korea again, now that I've leveled up. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and. Save real quick while I'm thinking about it. Save. Hit the right button. Okay. All right, then uh, I've still got two more episodes to record if you're watching live. And if not, I'll see you tomorrow on YouTube. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.